Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. In today's video, I want to show you how to build a sunken container garden and how to pack in about 20, 22 pepper plants in a two foot, if that, by 20 foot space. There are 11 containers right here. I'll go over how you create the containers. And maybe they're five gallons or so. You can kind of judge it. Take a look at the shovel to kind of get the size. But you want a larger container. You don't have to plant one pepper plant every two or three feet apart. A lot of the information we have, I think, is just, you know, passed forward. You can put two pepper plants into this space, double, double your yield, and really save a lot of space for other plants. So I am kind of redesigning this. I wanted to get some stronger containers. When you come over here, you can see that these just have a nice rim. That doesn't really matter, but I didn't like the ones that were all flimsy. They just look bad. So we have 11 containers. You're going to cut out the bottom. It'll look something like that. About half, you know, a third to a half. You want the root system to grow into the earth. That will help you manage water. And the pot goes down quarter to one third the size of the pot. These look a little bit deeper because they have mulch built up around them. But by setting up the sunken container garden, cutting out the bottom, you're pretty much planting in the earth. The root systems can manage water and then you put all the good material right into the container. So these are already set up. At the end of spring, what you see right there, that's the remains of alfalfa sprouts, or alfalfa pellets. So I put in a handful of alfalfa pellets. It looks like this. Handful of wood ash from the fire to add in potassium and just throw it on there, let it go for the winter. You don't have to do that. That's something you can add in. I also add in worm castings, a handful. You don't have to do that. Those are things that I feel make the potting soil better. Minimum. So what you do is you fill this halfway with the earth that you have. In my case, I have a lot of red clay. So I throw in about 50% peat moss, mix it through halfway in the container. One handful of any granular organic fertilizer that's around a 5.55. Five, five. It could be a 2.46, a 6.43, but you get the point. Fill it halfway, put in some peat moss or coca core. You could use potting mix if you want to buy potting mix, but fill it halfway, throw in that handful of granular, granular fertilizer, mix it through. Now this is settled with time, so I'm going to fill it back up to about here, throw in another handful of granular fertilizer, mix everything together, and that sets up the soil. It's pretty straightforward. Because the bottom is cut out, the plant systems, the root systems will go down into the earth. They will be able to get water. You concentrate your good stuff here. Granular fertilizer, they're good to go. If you want to add in more, certainly add in more, but you don't have to overdo it. So let me get these set up and I'll show you how to plant them. These are all going to be different hot peppers that I started indoors. So I threw in one handful, I have a pretty big hand, if you have smaller hands, throw in two, of the granular fertilizer. This is Holly Food I got on sale. Doesn't matter what it says, they're all basically the same. This is a 434 fertilizer, and you can just see handful thrown into each container. Now, this is my third year. I'm not digging out, you know, down to one half and putting in fertilizer down at the bottom. Just throw in a handful of wherever the soil level's at. You don't want to add in a lot of wood chips. You'll see some wood chips in there. Take off any mulch you might have, because when you mix wood through your soil, it can challenge your plants for nitrogen. Um, the wood, uh, yeah, the wood mulch will go on at the end. It'll kind of cover the top. Wood mulch on top is fine. That's not going to harm your plants. You don't want it mixed through the soil. I will add in some compost, some other soils, bring it up. And each year, you know, you can throw in a handful of the granular fertilizer, add compost, do what you need to do. Your pepper plants will love this space. All right, let me get to setting this up and planting for sure. So I filled my containers, leaving about an inch for mulch later. Don't need to mulch now in April or May, but as it gets warmer, I'll be mulching the tops of these containers. Now, in saying container, this is not a traditional container because the bottom's open. So that's why you can pack the plants in there because the roots that'll grow deeper will go into the soil be able to get moisture and nutrients from down there and the roots that stay shallow will get all the food that you just put in there. So I set this up with some compost, uh, bagged material that I had, remnants of some bagged products and some peat moss and some other stuff. It really doesn't matter what you put in there. If you're concerned about the pH being too low because you're adding in a lot of acidic peat moss, throw in a half a handful of lime, that will take care of it. So now that it's set up, dropping in two pepper plants just like that. 
you can plant a little bit above where the stem meets the seed starting mix it will actually peppers will grow some roots out of there so you just make a hole drop in the pepper plant and that's it pretty straightforward you don't have to be super gentle press it in this is going to get watered in with a fish emulsion I'll talk more about that in a second if you want to subscribe I'll show you how I take care of these pepper plants over the season let me plant the rest of them and we'll uh, finish up so in the case of the poblanos I have two plants in these tiny cells I do sell all the seed starting supplies cells flats at my seed shop if you want to check that out so you would just pop this out just like this loosen it up a little bit get the roots going in different directions and you just drop it right into the container just make a small hole plant it like I just showed you close it over they can be that close you don't have to space them out if you don't want to it's not going to matter to the plant the peppers are all in they like 50 degree soil 70 degree days that's what we're going to have for the next two weeks frost is still an option for nature or mother nature in our area all the way up to May 15th today is the 5th of April so I, there's a tomato cage back there that I use to support the plants as they grow. I'm not going to put them all in now because I have a polytunnel set up that will just cover straight over all these plants in case a frost is coming. But I love this setup. So the black containers add heat to the soil, which your peppers are going to like. And in this two foot at most, 20 foot long span, I fit in 22 different hot peppers. And just real quick, if you're curious, it's an orange cayenne, Tabasco, poblano, poblano again, I love those, jalapeno, or jalapeno, early jalapeno, Anaheim chili, facing heaven, this is where I butcher names, mulatto, isleno, Pasilio baggio, and a Thai hot culinary. So this whole row is gonna be hot peppers. The super hots will go down there. But a sunken container garden, two pepper plants, it's worked for me for over a decade now. I hope that you give it a try. You'll really be able to expand the amount of production you get out of the plants. For example, and I don't think size is inhibited by putting two plants in there. In fact, I dropped three in right there just as an experiment, because if two works, maybe three works. But let's just say one plant at maturity produces 50 peppers. Let's say two plants only get 80% production. So instead of 50, they're gonna grow 40 peppers. Two plants times 40 is 80, so you're still getting more peppers by putting two plants in there rather than, you know, just growing one to full size, if that even matters. I haven't noticed a difference as long as you set up the fertilizer basically as I did with the granular fertilizer bottom top, and then over the years you put in some more granular up top, throw in some compost, they're good to go. You can add in stuff like I do if you want to put in um, worm castings, I think that does make a difference. I am affiliated with uh, Vermisterra, that's in the video description if you want to check that out. But if you want to save some money, you don't have to do that. This is the basic setup, recommend giving it a try. You'll really like the production you get out of a sunken container garden with your pepper plants. Please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com. Thanks for watching.